We have the Russian chart on Social Democrats. Thanks, Alaska and Cordia. Minister, can you tell us what exactly is this government's policy for apartment living? We know what the Green Party policy is supposed to be anyway. You say you want sustainable, high-quality developments that are located a 15-minute walk or cycle to a city centre. But do you only want people to be able to rent this kind of housing? And rent in insecure tenancies? Because that's all that's available to people at the moment. The Minister for Finance tells us apartments must be omitted from the meagre measures announced this week which purport to stop the bulk purchase of homes by cuckoo funds but they and that they won't be built otherwise. Fine Gael has said something similar before. Back in 2017, when Owen Murphy was Minister, he said he had to reduce design standards because apartments were too high spec and were costing too much to build. He slashed standards for every kind of apartment project, but the changes he made for build-to-rent apartments were particularly damaging. There's no restriction on dwelling mix. The apartments are smaller. They're poorly ventilated at a time of a pandemic. There is a complete lack of storage space, no private outdoor space, and not at all suited to working from home. Mr Murphy was pleased with himself when these changes were made. He claimed at the time he had single-handedly reduced the cost of delivering apartments by 15%. He should perhaps have been concerned that developers and cuckoo funds were also very pleased with themselves. Planning permissions in Dublin for apartments now vastly outstrip permissions for houses and built to rent comprises more than 70% of these permissions. These apartments are cheaper to build, more expensive to rent and impossible to buy. A description, I think, that summarises this government's housing policy very well. Where are people who live in Dublin supposed to buy homes? They can't buy the apartments that are under construction because all, practically every one of those apartments that are currently under construction are being purchased by funds. Owen Murphy's bright idea to slash costs for developers and cuckoo funds delivered for neither home buyers or renters. All it did was boost developers' profits. Minister, your party, we were told, entered government to have a positive impact on environmental issues. So my question to you then are, why are you and your party facilitating this planning bonanza for cuckoo funds? Do you accept that this government is declaring city, the city centre in Dublin as a no-go area for first-time buyers? Deputy. And isn't it now the case Thank that young people who want to live in a city centre cannot aspire you, to home ownership? We have to make it affordable. That's agreed. And it's by doing. And it's a variety of different investments we need to make. We need to make significant investment in social housing at volume, scale, large numbers, huge amounts of money. The constraints there are often not necessarily the financing, it's getting the building workers, it's the training, the skills, getting block layers to avoid the cost going up so much that it's expensive for everyone to build so we can build more. It is changing what we agreed the other night, changing the Part 5 rules to say it's not just 10% social housing, but we also want affordable purchase and we also want cost rental. That's significant. The affordable purchase, in my mind, the site service, the likes of the site service um, fund to actually help bring down the cost, working with the local authorities, it has to, the local authorities have a central role and working with them in that. The coming months are going to be critical because the strategy and plan for this has to be changed. We have to change tack and do better. And in that, the funding has to go in that direction, in my mind. And we'll use our influence in government, and it's difficult because there's loads of funding. We're going to have to fund health, slant your care. We're going to have to fund education. We're going to have to fund climate, and we have to fund housing. It's a challenge. You get the balance right, but we will fund affordable housing, affordable purchase, as well as social housing. And I critically say I believe cost rental because I think it fundamentally changes this kind of, one of the two tiers we have in Irish housing is around this just social or private. The brilliant thing about cost rental in my mind is that it is between the two. It's in the market, but it's public. 
And I go back to, I keep going back to this, the Land Development Agency and public land, because I believe that is the key to help unlock this at scale. And I'm talking about real ambition that we're looking to influence within government in access to public land in this cross-party approach. Critical to that as well, I have to mention it at every stage because it has to be recognition that housing and public transport go together. To answer your question, what sort of vision for the city? My vision is for this 15-minute city. This accessible, walking, everything close, high-quality cycling as well as public transport infrastructure. That also needs to be funded. There is a huge funding requirement if we're to build the likes of the Metro, the likes of the Bus Connects, the likes of the Dart Plus for Cork, and Galway and Limerick as well as Dublin. We do need balanced regional development to make this work in my mind. It has to be in our other cities and it, yes it is I think particularly in the development of town centres, village centres and cities where we go, compact development. And housing and transport and local environment are key and I believe we have a real role to provide and to offer in terms of getting access to the land, getting an intervention to the sort of measures that I've mentioned. There will also be private developments. There will be built to rent. That 120 billion we need for housing spent in the next 10 thank years you, won't all be government, because if we did, we wouldn't have the funding thank, for thank transport, you, health and education thank as well. You, we need that balance, Garmogan. that mix. We will bring the mix towards affordable thank purchase and rent particularly, Deputy because Rosen that's what we've been focused on in thank recent you, years. Minister. Uh, Minister, look, there's very little reality in what you're saying. It doesn't bear any relationship to the existing situation and you had an opportunity this week to do something about that to ensure that there were controls introduced for all homes and the question is do you regard apartments as homes and do you think is it your view that first-time buyers have a right to purchase apartments because at the moment they can't do that there are no apartments at all in Dublin city centre available for first time buyers. And you know, you talk about incentives for young people, uh, subsidies, they mean nothing to young people living in Dublin because you cannot buy an apartment at the moment. They are all controlled by funds and you and your party had an opportunity this week to do something about that and you failed to do that. You failed the young people of Dublin City in terms of their aspiration to Thank purchase you, a home. And do you accept that Thank now the aspiration of purchasing a home in Dublin City Centre Thank you, does Deputy not exist M for Minister young people? To respond. We 100% stand up for the aspiration for purchase of apartments in our cities, in our country, right across. It, it will, apartments particularly where we city living, urban compact living. We 100% stand up and support that. And in government this week we did and got agreement with our colleagues that we would come back to this issue in the affordable housing bill and look at further measures, as, Dar as Minister O'Brien has said, to deliver on that. It will be part of a mix because this needs multiple faceted response. But yes, absolutely, central to that has to be that we create apartment living which is for a home. We cannot have a system where you think you rent and then when you grow up, as it were, you go out and you buy a house. We need to create urban, high quality urban environments. That requires good planning. That requires local councils as well to be involved. And it's a local council level where Green Party members across this country are working with colleagues to deliver the planning we need to deliver that high quality local environment. And it isn't just the housing, it's all the other services that come at the Thank same you, time. And that's what we as a party, I believe, are good Thank at. Thank you, Minister. Moving on, moving on to the next question. Uh, from the